those two first or second week. I mean, the option or the. That's what I read. Well, good morning. Our entrance antiphon. The Lord and ruler will be coming soon, and his name will be called Emmanuel, because he will be God with us. We pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. As we begin, we pause for a moment, calling to mind any faults, any failures, and asking the good Lord for pardon for ourselves and for the sins of our world. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. And Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. 
Hear in kindness, O Lord, the prayers of your people, that those who rejoice at the coming of your only begotten Son in our flesh may, when at last he comes in glory, gain the reward of eternal life. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the Song of Songs. Hark, my lover, here he comes, springing across the mountains, leaping across the hills. My lover is like a gazelle or a young stag. Here he stands behind our wall, gazing through the windows, peering through the lattices. My lover speaks. He says to me, Arise, my beloved, my dove, my beautiful one, and come. For see, the winter is past, the rains are over and gone, the flowers appear on the earth, the time of pruning the vines has come, and the song of the dove is heard in our land. The fig tree puts forth its figs, and the vines in bloom give forth fragrance. Arise, my beloved, my beautiful one, and come. O oh, my dove, in the clefts of the rock, in the secret recesses of the cliff, let me see you, let me hear your voice, for your voice is sweet and you are lovely. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Exult you just in the Lord. Sing to him a new song. Exult you just in the Lord. Sing to him a new song. Give thanks to the Lord on the harp. With the ten-stringed lyre, chant his praises. Sing to him a new song. Pluck the strings skillfully with shouts of gladness. Exult you just in the Lord. Sing to him a new song. But the plan of the Lord stands forever the design of his heart through all generations. Blessed the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen for his own inheritance. Built you just in the Lord. Sing to him a new song. Our soul waits for the Lord, who is our help and our shield. For in him our hearts rejoice. In his holy name we trust. Exult, you just, in the Lord. Sing to him a new song. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. O Emmanuel, our King and giver of the law, come to save us, Lord our God. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Mary set out in those days and traveled to the hill country in haste to a town of Judah where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried out in a loud voice and said, Most blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how does this happen to me that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For at the moment the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the infant in my womb leaped for joy. Blessed are you who believe, that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. The Gospel of the Lord. Are you like me? Do you sometimes uh, like to be in control? You know, whether it's uh, 
planning the liturgy or maybe it's a treatment by the doctor um, or maybe it's how money should be spent. You know, at times we feel like, oh, we want some control in it. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. But today's gospel, we hear Elizabeth reading Mary with these words. Blessed are you who believe. Or we can say, blessed are you who trusted that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. Now, I bring this up because to trust means that we give someone else control. Okay, I trust you're going to take care of this. I'm letting go of my control. And that's what the American Heritage Dictionary says. To trust means to rely, to depend, or to have confidence in someone or something else. So when we are called to trust in God, it means that we are to let go of our control or expectation and allow God to do the way God wants to do. Mary trusted that God will send a Savior to free God's people. Mary was surprised, however, that God was going to use her. She didn't try to control how God would do it, but just allow herself to be an instrument of God. So as we trust in God's promise that he will come again, that he will lead us into the fullness of life, that he will save us, May we trust like Mary did, without trying to control God, but simply having confidence, allowing him to do as God wishes. Elizabeth said to Mary, Blessed are you who trusted that the Lord's words to you would be fulfilled. And I think that applies also to us. Blessed are we when we trust in the Lord. Let us pray. Let us pray then for ourselves and all Christians that we rejoice that the Lord is near and trust him with our whole lives. We pray to the Lord. For our leaders and the people of our nation that we may live our motto, in God we trust. We pray to the Lord. For people, for peace in our troubled world, for the people of Israel, Palestine, Ukraine, and Myanmar, for the safety and well-being of hostages, refugees, and asylum seekers, we pray to the Lord. For those struggling with addiction, for those unjustly incarcerated, for the homebound, the homeless, and all who feel alone this season, and their loved ones, who suffer with them, we pray to the Lord. For the sick and all whom we have promised our prayers, we pray to the Lord. And this Mass is being offered for the repose of the souls of Bernice Sabine, David Liu, and in charity, remember Aaron Pajarillo, who passed away last week. For them and their families who mourn their passing, we pray to the Lord. I invite you to take a moment of silence to offer your own personal intentions. And so for all of our intentions, we pray to the Lord. Good and gracious God, we're grateful for the coming of your Son, and we look forward to his coming. Hear the prayers of your children, and in your goodness grant them through Christ our Lord.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Pray then, my sisters and brothers, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Be pleased, O Lord, to accept the offerings of your church, for in your mercy you have given them to be offered, and by your power you transform them into the mystery of our salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your, your hearts. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is really right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold them, the virgin mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. And it is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glorious without end, we acclaim. Holy. Holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy there for these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the default, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Salvatore, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember Bernice, David, and Aaron, 
and all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, especially those who died from the recent wars. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. With one heart and one faith together we pray, our Father. this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us deliver us Lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer to each other a sign of Christ's peace. <laughs> Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
our communion antiphon. Blessed are you who have believed that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. Let us pray. Lord, may participation in this divine mystery provide enduring protection for your people so that being subject to your glorious majesty and dedicated service, they may know abundant health in mind and body. Through Christ, our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace, glorifying the Lord by our lives. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Safe travels. <laughs>